welcome to my youtube channel subscribe for uplifting gospel content here we explore faith share inspiring stories dive into powerful teachings and celebrate the love of god whether you are seeking encouragement biblical insights or a deeper connection with your faith you are in the right place join us as we grow together in grace spread hope and embrace the gospel's life-changing power hit the subscribe button and let's journey through god's word together one inspiring message at a time disclaimer this channel does not support any act of violence towards any man of god or any person in particular so please kindly make your comments with respect for the community and with love for one another. Thank you as you do so. God bless you always. One of the biggest mistakes I made when I was dating is that I compared with my ex just a little bit. And because with the person I was dating before, we dated two years and we didn't quarrel once. Yes, not once. Even when we're breaking up, I just, just don't think it's gonna work. Oh, really? A minute. Oh. And we both cried, but we didn't exchange, we didn't, nothing, just moved on. I didn't realize that was a toxic trait. Let me tell you something, it's not always toxic. Peace is possible. Are you listening to me? But there's another extreme. But you know, when I brought it up, you know, PL is not always okay. You know, she's, she's your pastor. <laughs> so she just said, why didn't you marry her? <laughs> Don't stress me, right? <laughs> If it was so good, why, why are you here? <laughs> I discovered I was what they called avoidant attachments. And it can be very dangerous. People like me can be very dangerous because we don't like to fight. If you cross the line in the friendship, you will just discover, I won't talk to you again. I will just draw the line and that's the end. And so what happened was very simple. And this is the first time it's coming out of my mouth. That's how dangerous we can be. I won't complain, I won't fight, we'll just end it, uh, that's all, we'll move on. It's not you, it's me. Just imagine, look at all that God is doing through us by the grace of God. And now, move back maybe 15 years, and I'm trying to date someone. I have all this vision in my spirit. I know God is going to do all that he's doing now. And everybody who was around was a part of it, working tirelessly. I will always hold in high esteem. The people who saw me years ago and saw the hand of God. The people who will give 5K, 2K, do you understand to be a part of it? And then we're doing heavy projects. If you know about our ministry, we've always done big things. When I was graduating, we printed 10,000 copies of devotionals and gave it free. Then, I've been crazy for a long time, you see. And all of that was happening thanks to the love, the faith of partners and all of that. And now I'm dating someone who had never given a donation to the fellowship. I'm not materialistic. The fellowship has always had money. I have a grace by the grace of God. Check the history of this ministry. We've never lacked. I just told you, as an undergraduate, we printed 10,000 copies and gave it out free. So we already always had money. But it just, it just, I just quietly wondered, like, what is going on? But I'd, I had not learned to talk things through. I didn't bring it up. I just kept wondering. And so one day, I wanted to bring it up stylishly. I didn't know how to. So I just said, you know what? We have a project we want to do for the church. Can you loan me 15000 We didn't need 15000 I'm telling you, those of you who are aware, we printed devotionals every month. And it cost at least 600000 And we did it every month without fail. And then she borrowed me the money <laughs> and then you know I just kept it or something and then months after honestly in my mind I had some respite that well at least she could part way with money it's not as bad as I thought then months after she came to see me and we're talking and then we're already going and she said hey about that money <laughs> that I borrowed you so I said okay you know so I went packaged the money in an envelope then I, in another envelope, was letter. <laughs> but, <laughs> I've changed. If you like, don't judge me. Um, 
I'm not doing again. Look at the way some of you are judging me. You, you, you don't understand. Some of you don't understand visionaries. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not trying to excuse it, but you don't understand visionaries. How, how could you not see it? How could you not be? I'm not talking about a large amount. I'm not once. Ah, let's be a part of this. 2K. If, if it was, okay, give me the money back, but you know what? Take 2K, just add to this. Not once. The approach was wrong. Do you understand? And you know, I was in a school that didn't use phones. So maybe she thought, <laughs> God, the more I explain it to sound worse. So she must have thought it was a love letter. On the way, in, in the bus, just opened it. She tried to call me, we don't have phone. <laughs> so, The reason I'm telling you this, listen. Now, imagine bringing that attitude into a marriage. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? You, you don't want to talk things through. I told you last week, there's a reason women nag. You can be so poor at communication that they want any reaction, bad or good. Just react. Just show that you are alive in, the, in this relationship. I'll take anything. If, if it's anger, even if it's anger. Let me tell you something. To many ladies, anger is reassuring. It means you care. Some of you know what I'm saying. Women, if you have, I'm not saying if you are like that. If you have a clue what I'm saying and you're honest, raise your hand like this. Just, you don't have to raise it up. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Sounding like this. I'll take it. 